Happy New Year, all you big Canuckers out there, or you big USAers, or big Germans, or big Australians, or big people of the world. I just want to say Happy New Year. Thank you so much for making this year an absolutely fantastic year, a wonderful year. One of the things I'm going to keep in the new year is I'm going to try to say fantastic as much. That seems to be my word. It's freaking fantastic. Anyways, I just want to say thank you so much, you guys, for really sticking with me all year, for putting up with um, my videos and, and, and answering my questions and leaving comments and all the love from uh, the online community that you guys have had has been a wonderful. It's kept me going through some really, really dark times in my life this last year, uh, including we just lost our, uh, our puppy of 17 years. She just passed away about four days ago, five days ago. So there's another heartbreak, but... You guys have been uh, wonderful, and, and I appreciate it so much. And so what I want to do is just kind of give you guys a, a great big thank you, especially you, Art. Uh, I ended up uh, picking myself up a really, really nice uh, gift card with what you said. I, I got to say thank you so much, buddy. Um, it was un unexpected, uh, and it was a little touch of um, sunshine in a time when I needed it the most, and I got to say thank you so much. All right, so I wanted to say thank you. To everybody that's out there and just i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful safe and happy new year and i, and I want to kind of go over a little bit of stuff here for the end of the year these are going to be some gear of the year for me uh these are kind of what i carry every day uh, it's not a completely exhaustive list there are other salts out there that i carry but i just thought i'd go through this stuff here first of all and what kind of my favorites are um for the year all right so number one i think everybody wants to know what the number one pocket knife that I, I, I absolutely love right now, folding blade, it has to be this. And now, before I <laughs> before I get onto that, I just want to say I had planned on doing a kind of a uh, two camera thing, but my other phone is completely dead. I think there may be an issue with it. So, hey, way to discover that right at the end of the year. But let's uh, just do it this way. Have some fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. All right. This is my pocket knife for the year. I absolutely adore this. This is the Chavez Rendicion 229 Ultramar. I just absolutely adore how smooth this thing is. Oh, it came incredibly sharp. Now, there is a 229-228 by a Chavez. Now, they're both designed by uh, Ramon Chavez. Uh, this one here has an M390 blade. This one is built by React in China. And I got to say, they did a fantastic job. I even said fantastic. They did a, a great job. Uh, superlative uh, knife making by those folks out there. They took this design. They ran with it. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I happen to love this clip. Uh, a lot of people, it's very polarizing. But I, I love it to no end. And the only knock that I really have on this is I wish that there was a lanyard hole and I am going to be trying to do that in the new year here I'm going to make my own little uh backspacer here out of maybe aluminum or steel or something if I can find some spare titanium and then I'm going to have some friends of mine mill a uh lanyard hole in there or create one themselves so there that is coming out and I just love carrying this knife it cuts like a demon uh the m390 stays razor sharp a uh, couple of big old slabs of titanium and despite all its misgivings i just love this knife now there are some better ergonomic knives and there are some knives that i carry i think a little bit more uh, including this one right here which is zt 0562 tie uh, this was the knife of the year until that chavez got in my hand uh, but i end up putting this in my pocket more often than not if I, especially if i'm heading out just because I like the idea of having this lanyard on there. Uh, it feels more secure with me, and I feel like I'm going to lose this. And that's kind of, it's not a safe cream by any stretch of the imagination. I do use this knife as a working knife. I just prefer if I'm heading out of town, I use this knife. Now, if I'm heading, and I want to do another honorable mention, this has been my go to work heavy, hard use, um, stick it in the mud, cut ties, and I'm going to smash it into some steel. This happens to be the Spyderco uh, Tough. This was a uh, special kind of special edition. It came in OD green, which I absolutely hated. So I ended up dyeing it this wonderful uh, red. This is kind of my Deadpool knife, my Deadpool colors with this DLC coating on here. 
this titanium nitride coating is fantastic by Spartaco. It's very shiny, which I like. It's very, very thin and it's very, very durable. Uh, this has got a crew wear blade on it, so you know it's tough as hell and it takes a beating. And it's just a solid, solid unit all the way around. Uh, Spyderco, uh, tough. If you uh, happen to be able to get one of these, get one. They will not let you down. All right, so that seems to be the two here uh, that I'm most curious. So if I'm going camping or working hard, it's this one. If I'm heading into the city or heading out, I love this one. But my ultimate favorite is this uh, Chavez Ultramar. And I'll be carrying this more and more and more once I get a lanyard hold on it. So this is the knife of the year right now for me. Chavez 229. Okay. Let's go with something else. Fixed blades. It's a real tough one. Now I've got this one here, which is no name. Not, not no name. My, my son actually did this himself. Uh, we have a friend uh, he works with that is a knife maker. And he spent so many of his lunch hours creating this uh, fixed blade with mirror polishing this blade uh, this handle is completely smooth i love the texture of this knife uh, you know it's very very sharp too uh, the, the file work on the spine i can tell that he created he did a lot of uh put a lot of love into this and how can you not um you know consider this the knife of the year you know, so this came from my son and that is my fixed blade of the year I just love it. Now, an honorable mention here is uh, this schnitzel, uh, kind of a wood carving Boy Scouts knife. Uh, I actually EDC'd this. This is a great knife, especially for the money. This is, you know, $49.99, say at White Mountain Knives. It's made in Germany. It's got 14C28 steel, extremely thick, you know, uh, almost like five mil stock on this thing. It's got a really kind of high scandy blade on it. It's a full tank construction. It's got um, two screws to the back, so if you need to take it apart and clean it, you can. It comes in this really nice little locked-in sheath with a fire uh, uh, ferro, uh, ferro rod on the uh, on the bottom there to fight start some fires. I mean, I, I just was absolutely blown away by this when I first put it in my hand, and how much value there is in here too. Uh, you know, Schnitzel um, makes another knife that's kind of more for children. It's not the Scandi ground. It's just more, the tip is not as sharp. Uh, it's still a good stout, thick, same size blade, but this one is their wood uh, processing knife and it does a great job processing wood. I kind of use this as a everyday carry. I stuck this whole thing into my pocket and it actually did, it fit pretty well in there. It's not so overwhelming that if you had to pull it out in say a store to cut open a bag or something or some string, nobody's gonna look at you like you're ready to you know take down the entire store or anything like that. So. Schnitzel, there's a great honorable mention, uh, but the number one fixed blade has to be a uh, Gregor Special, is what we'll call it, <laughs> because that's his name. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, a couple of just tools here real quick. Uh, Multi-tools. Uh, this is kind of the pry bar that I've been using. This is an Olight uh, pry bar. It's called the Opry. Um, Opry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Opry, Opry. It's about a four, and a, you know, four and a bit inch piece of titanium. It's got some uh, four mil bits in there that are, are Torx that are you know, going to be your four to eight, I do believe. Uh, so you're going to have be able to tighten the pivot on most of your or put together, you know, most of your uh, uh, knives out there, pocket knives. You've got, uh, let's just see, up to ten mil on your uh, multiple sized nut driver here. You've got a quarter inch bit driver there. Uh, you've also got, the, this is where the, the bits fit on the back if you need to. Uh, it's got a little, I, I think it's a, it's a little smiley face pocket clip. Uh, I just think it's a great little tool. And it's, like I said, it's very, very stout. It has a ruler on the side. I carry this as my pry bar. It just fits in my pocket. And I just use this because I had it attached to my keys, but I'm gonna do a little lanyard here right away. Either a leathered lanyard, or I'm gonna do a little, um, uh, paracord lanyard on this. Now the other thing, so multi-tool wise too, it's an oldie, but I didn't really um, appreciate this knife as much as when I first did the original review on it because I was so blown away by the wave and the surge. Those seems to be, the wave, the surge, and the crunch seem to be the most capable multi-tools I think that Leatherman makes. If you're a guy working out there, put the surge in your pocket. If you're a guy, you know, the wave is the way I used to, I'd say, you know, would go. 
Um, but I think that this uh, P4 is, you know, taking over that wave. I think uh, most of it based upon, you know, it's very slim design. Uh, the, the one handedness on it is extremely uh, beautiful with this magnetic, you know, system. Um, and just overall, the weight of this with the pocket clip on it, I've thrown this in my throw this hello great grammar i threw this in my pocket more often than the wave i you know i would need a multi-tool and i'd go to my drawer and i'd grab this and throw this in my pocket and i found that i really enjoyed using this a lot more so this may have kind of taken over the wave now the wave is less expensive by the tune of about 50 dollars. so i mean if budget is a factor uh, i think the wave is just nothing wrong with the wave i think it's their number one selling tool and it's for a good reason i, I love it but just the P4 just seemed to really um, kind of take it over a little bit this this uh, this year. And uh, I got to say, the P4 seems to be going in my pocket. Another honorable mention I wear this all the time is this Leatherman Tread. This is part of my everyday carry. Uh, when I'm heading out to the city and stuff like that, I throw this on my wrist. Not only I think is it an excellent piece of jewelry, with these little bits that are on there are so damn handy. I help a friend of mine who's a wholesaler who moves cars quite a bit, and we're all forever putting plates on. And before I ended up grabbing this little Opry tool to stick in my pocket, most of those plates were kind of a flat screwdriver, and I would just use, you know, a quarter or something like that but any of the phillips or the imports they need kind of a phillips or even a robertson and this seems to be so so damn handy all right so don't forget leatherman tread put that on your wrist i i i get compliments on how well it looks a lot of people look at it twice when i tell them hey this is actually a, a tool it's not just a piece of jewelry you know it's a very manly uh you know thing of jewelry and it's not out of place on somebody's wrist and i've got compliments on people liking it before they even know that it's a tool so there's one there now oh this bugger here is my flashlight of the year or torch of the year it is the baton 3 pro i was so blown away when this thing got now the fit and finish of this um the runtime i think 90 oh, 120 days now the baton 2 pro uh, was I think 60 day run they've doubled it to 120 they've made this LED a lot more um, efficient so when you have this on moonlight mode which is basically if you just simply hold it down it pops on that moonlight mode which is not super bright but it's enough to read by it's enough to read a map it's enough not to ruin your night vision but be able to walk through a darkened room this will last for 120 days if you're caught someplace um, underground or you're caught someplace where you don't have light and you have this in your pocket, even if you put that on and you let it run for four, five, six hours, you're not going to negatively affect your battery that much. But a sense, uh, having light just gives you a sense of warmness and just may save your life, uh, to, you know, to be sure. Uh, but it also goes extremely bright in the turbo mode to, uh, I do believe, 1200 uh, lumens. So, or no, 1500 lumens. So it is extremely light. Now it does drop down after a bit, but um yeah i use it to just if i was um you know if i want to out the back i've got my big mutt there and i want to call him in and you know i just give it a double clap it a double click it and it just lights up my entire backyard and he goes oh shit i gotta get inside so um i liked having that turbo mood now since november of 2022 they're no longer sold with a proximity light uh a proximity sensor and what that is is if it's light like turned on really bright and you it's close to something it'll shut itself down or lower its intensity so it doesn't start a fire that's no longer there anymore so please please be careful and if you buy one after november it's built that's after november 22 you're not having that extra special or that extra little bit of safety i'm not sure why they've changed it but they have all right so that's my light of the year another thing i carry is i've got some um apple airpods pro to the second generation these are phenomenal headphones earbuds i mean i i used to be an audiophile out there oh years and years and years ago i built my own speakers i built my own passive crossovers I, you know i did it all and i had to detune my ears over time so i because i would listen to something and it would if it wasn't perfectly 
pitched or the sound wasn't right, it would drive me crazy. If it's a little tiny, I could tell there's a little tiny buzz in a tweeter or, or a mid-range and it would just drive me insane if it wasn't perfect. And there were so many times I was out in a boat where I wasn't listening to perfect sound systems that drove me crazy. So I had to detune my ear and concentrate on not hearing these things. Well, when I put these on for the first time and I used the um, noise cancelling mode, I was so blown away by the sound in there. Now, Apple is not necessarily the best sounding earbud that's out there but for the vast majority of us especially as us old old facts <laughs> this is going to be more than enough and uh, uh with this case on there this magnetic case uh you're getting yourself i think up to 30 hours listing time with the case uh just man oh man superlative outstanding sound and i love the fact that if you're an apple guy and you've got an apple iphone an ipad uh, my uh, mac studio this so seamlessly transitions to each and every one of them there's no way you should not get airpod pros and now with the little soft tips on the pros rather than the uh the regular airpods they fit in everybody's ear they've got four different um, sizes to fit so they're going to fit in anybody's ears fantastic all right so that seems to be the gear of the year right now. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Alberta Firearms. Really, really excellent friends. Uh, Steven out there, uh, Dan, Matt uh, have been wonderful guys. That's right, buy all my Spydercos from. Um, look for the link in the description if you want to pick yourself a Spyderco. Now, coming up in the new year, we've got some really nice things coming on. I've got some new uh, Olight products that's coming on. Now, I'm, I'm not uh, sponsored by any of these products, none, nobody whatsoever. Uh, but, I, you know, I buy everything myself. So that's why I appreciate so much Art sending me, you know, what you did. And I, and I appreciate it so much, man. But... Um, uh, I was going to say, oh yeah, so I got the Olight stuff coming in. I got a, a few more pocket knives that we've got uh, going. We've got some more, some more electronics uh, that are uh, being going to be reviewed. Um, what else we got coming up? Uh, oh, we're going to be having a, a knife sale coming up here in the first part of the new year. Probably the second week of January. A really wicked knife sale. I've got some stuff that I'm going to sell in order to fund the channel. I mean, there's some things that just got to get themselves going. So don't forget to save up your uh, after Christmas cash. If you got some Christmas cash, save it up. Now, I've got some new products that is going to be coming from Alberta Firearms too as well. Um, some Demcos. Uh, I'm going to be getting a couple of really excellent uh, collector pieces that are um, fantastic. Fixed blades. Um, they're going to be um you know some heavy uh, some big price things and i've got some just some knives and so those are all going to be brand new but they're going to be at pre-owned prices so don't forget to check that out uh, i've also got some interviews lined up here pretty soon uh part of the reason i did this gear of the year is actually a friend of this guy here who uh, naf sign uh ben uh his buddy zach uh from zach in the wild if you guys know zach in the wild he has so graciously um said yes to letting me uh interview him so that's coming up here in the new year too as well uh, and I really look forward to him. I've been watching his channel and uh, he's the guy who had the gear of the year and I thought, what the hell? I'm going to copy that guy. He said he wanted to hear the gear of the year. So this is my gear of the year to Mr. Zach and I got to say thank you so much for him uh, for being um, interviewed. Now, oh, I, my other Christmas present, I don't know if you noticed that, but if you are a knife guy, you need to have yourself a bat lift. And I cut myself a bat lift for Christmas. So that is not going to be killing any Klingons or uh, Vulcans uh, anytime soon. It's going to stay in that wall because it was given to me by my uh, my boy, uh, Zach, and his lovely, lovely uh, common-law spouse. I kind of piss him off every time I say that. Abby, thank you so much to you two. Uh, I really, really um, love uh, what you guys did for me this year. And I really, really love what all you guys did for me this year. So please, please stay safe out there. Please keep your stick on the ice, the shiny side up. This is the Big Canucker saying adios. But for the last time of 2022.